Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. Thank you as always for taking the time to watch my videos. Hopefully you will find them informative and when you go to your local bookstore you will act upon my recommendations. Uh, the book this time out I'm drawing to your attention is Forsaken Country by Alan Eskins. This is published by Mulholland Little Brown and it retails for $35. Um, those who've read the Max Rupert series have found a most interesting character and in this book six of the series we find um, Max Rupert is is well he, he's basically gone off the grid uh, when his w wife was murdered three years ago um, he became a shadow of his former self um, he was in law enforcement at one time uh, then he went to the mountains and became a mountain man. He grew his hair long, uh, grew a beard, and just basically shut himself um, off from civilization, living as simply as he could. And he liked it that way. And he hoped it was going to be that way for the rest of his life because he really wanted you know, nothing to do with most of civilization. But that changed in the form of uh, a woman by the name of Sandy. Uh, and her six-year-old child Pip um, were were well they were targeted um, a former husband Reed um, was against his wife because uh, it was because of her that he had to go to jail so he was out for revenge so with a partner who went by the name of Spud his real name was Peter but he's called Spud all the way through the book uh, Spud went to her place and he basically abducted her and he forced her to go to the bank to withdraw thirty thousand dollars which she did she had to because you know he threatened her son and uh, you know it would be really bad for her so she told no one she went to the bank so what happened was um, he basically said he was he was going to take the money and you know once he got the money he was going to go well uh, he ended up strangling her and so he put her body in a big suitcase and the body was taken to the river and thrown in the river so um, her house was cleaned out of all the clothing and her essentials and and of course Spud took Pip with him so what basically what people thought was um, she just left of her own accord she went to the bank took thirty thousand dollars from her account and was going to live somewhere else that's what everybody thought but her father, uh, Lyle Voigt, an ex-sheriff, he knew something wasn't right. He knew his daughter just would not do that, would, would not leave without contacting people. So um, he goes up to Max Rupert and he wants him to help and Max reluctantly basically says no, no. Um, the sheriff in town that Lyle s spoke to thinks is just a simple case of her getting up and going. There's no foul play that he could see. So anyways, Lyle convinces Max that he has to find, you know, Sandy because, well, and his grandson, Pip, of course. So, but he thinks um, something bad has happened to her. So as we find out, Reed, who is the ex-husband, and Spud take Pip on a cross-country tour. They basically says their mother's gone. You know, she doesn't want no part of them. You know, he doesn't know his mother has died. So, um, Reed is not a nice man. He's he's nasty to the son. And Spud is almost like a father to Pip. Um, he basically takes him under his wing and he's very protective. So, um, as Max and Lyle go cross country, um, the trail gets cold, but then it gets hot. And so it's, it's an interesting thing. Um, Spud gets on Reed's bad side and he pays the price. And uh, so anyways, um, Lyle, well, I shouldn't say what happens to the characters. Uh, I don't want to give away too many spoilers here. But let's just say Max and, and Reed, uh, they're basically uh, the last two standing. Of course, Pip is uh, out there too. He, he has no idea what's happening. And so it, it's a really tense tale, a definite page turner. If you like a book that keeps you engrossed and makes you want to keep reading rather than just reading a chapter or two at a time, 
This is definitely a book that you'll have to set aside some time because you will not be able to put it down. So Forsaken Country is definitely a book that you must add to your collection if you're looking for a quality book and you have read the Max Rupert series in the past. Uh, one can only anticipate what's going to happen in the next book in the series. Uh, if it's half as good as this, it's definitely excellent reading. So just wanted to draw that to your attention. Hopefully you will agree with me. Let me know if you do or you don't. So until we meet again, and we will with more fiction and nonfiction, uh, stay safe, stay sane, stay social distancing, and do stay in touch. And thanks again for your time. Bye for now.